In this video, we are going to continue with improper integrals and we are going to focus on discontinuous integrant. You will find this on page 340 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. The discontinuous integrant. This type of integral is an integral whose integrant has a discontinuity in the interval or integration. This discontinuity can be in the middle of the interval of integration, but in this section, we will consider only those integrals where the discontinuity is at an end point of the interval of integration. So either on top or at the bottom. So fx is not defined when x is equal to a, that value at the bottom, Therefore, we'll replace the limit a when t, and then take the limit t striving to a, providing the limits exist. I'll show you now. And then, it's um, when it's b the top, fx is not defined when x is equal b. Therefore, we will replace the limit b with t, and then take the limit as t striving to b, providing the limit exists. Okay, I'll show you. It's usually when it's division by zero that this comes into account. Okay, but let's just check the example. So if you look at this, there, there is the 3 and the 0. But the problem is if you see, if you substitute 0, it, it's not going to be a problem. But if you substitute 3, then 3 minus 3 is 0, and the square root of 0 is 0, and that will lead to division by 0. Which is, which is not going to be defined. So, so the problem, the problem in this case is with the top one. Okay, now, and now it's almost like the infinity sign, we got the, the method is going to be more or less the same. So the function, this is not defined when x is three, that top. Okay, so what we are going to do is we are going to put in the place of the three, so it's almost saying if, Then we will put a t there and zero. Now we're going to do exactly the same as we, we, we did in the previous video. We're going to integrate and then substitute. So it's not up to find, it's the upper limit. Okay, so if we integrate, it's going to be a, a that remember, remember that the rule is a negative one. That's why we multiply with one over negative one. And then we integrate with plus one and we divide and it's t and zero. Okay, so basically um, I'm going to just simplify this and now I substitute. Now this is not going to be my problem. Um, if you look at this one, this is just going to be plus two square root three, which you can leave like that. Yeah, this is the one that I'm going to, because there's the t. So when t is three, okay, we're going to substitute. So it's going to be, um, in this one, in, in the integrated one. Okay, so th th it's because in the integrated one, it's not divided by zero. It's multiplied, and you can multiply. So in, in this is um, going to be three minus three, which is going to be zero. Okay, I think there, this is just replacing that one. Okay, so it's going to be negative two, and there is zero, and that is so, can I just maybe indicate it a little bit clearer to you? This is going to be now the green one, and it's going to be zero. And this was the red one, and there's the red one, okay? And I just replace it there, okay, with the red. And then, this is not, it's, it's going to give you a value, because you are not busy with dividing by zero. So in the integrated one, it was actually, um, it went to a multiplication, which was nice. And that is, the limit exists, and it's finite, and therefore the integral converge, and the value of the integral is 2 square root 3, that one. Okay. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do try now 28 number A. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished.
Let's start with number A. Okay, it's going to be 1 and 0. X to the power negative for half dx. Okay, but on the side, I want to show you. Actually, it was 1 and 0, and it was 1 over that negative, take it, and this was actually. And if you look at this blue, you will see, if I substitute 1, it's, it's not going to be a problem because it's 1 divided by 1 is 1. But if I substitute 0, the, the problem is with the 0. If I substitute 0, it's going to be division by 0, which is undefined. So that's why I must make this one t. So I'm going to say if... Okay, now... Then I'm going to say 1 and t, leave it like this because it's easy for integration. Okay, what am I going to do now? I'm going to integrate. So it's going to be x, negative for half plus 1 or plus 2 over 2, it's a half. And I divide by a half and then it's going to be 1 and t. So this is going to be 2 square root x and it's going to be 1 and t and then I substitute so it's going to be 2 and if I substitute first the 1 and then I substitute the t so this one is not going to be a problem so this one is just going to give me 2 Okay, minus 2. So first leave it like because that's 1. So it's 2 minus 2 square root t. Okay, but as now, now we say as because remember t, here I wrote it, t is 0. So we say as t is drawing to that 0, then the 2 square root t will be 2 square root 0, which is not a problem because I'm not dividing by 0 in, in the integrated value. And that will just give me 0. Okay. So, basically, I can go and say, okay, 1 and 0, the original one, It's going to be that 2, is it minus? Yes, minus 0, which is just going to give me a value of 2, which is excellent, because that means it exists, exists and it converges. Okay, so I can go and end up by saying hinge. The limit exists and is finite. Is finite. The integral. I just want to move it a little bit up. The integral converges and the value of the integral is 2. Okay, and that's my final answer.